Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here in our Park Life City. Thank you very much for joining me. So, got a couple of things to work on today. The water has finally more or less sort of subsided. We had some accidental tsunamis in the last episode and it really sort of messed up the water and it was flooding all of this just a few minutes ago the water you can see the water's flowing in all sorts of weird directions backwards and forwards and i think it's sorted itself out now though which is which is good because that was a bit of a pain in the backside but we are growing nicely we are up to forty six thousand, which is nice and we do have a couple of additional mods um which i talk about in my other city um, that we also play on this channel one of them being demand master so obviously i'm what i'm going to try and do in this city is not run with demand master going so we'll turn that off and that will slowly creep back down again 98 you see that'll go back down again i put it up to max because we did have those accidental tsunamis so i thought well i whack that up to max and we'll get our city back to how it was. We're up to 47,000. That's okay. Our next target is 75. So we're still sort of a way off from there. But we are getting there, which is nice. So please about that. Are you working? You are operating fine, which is good. You've got power. You've obviously got water. So let us expand our city a little bit more. I would like to place some more trees and things along here. When I look at this sort of gap. It makes me think, yeah, we need trees in there. The same as what we've got along here. We've probably also got lots of trees. Whoa, boy. Not what I wanted to do. We've probably got a lot of trees in the water. So I'm just going to right click and remove those. There we go. I think they were accidentally put in a few episodes back. Proper tree uh, anarchy is off. So if we sort of fill this in along here, try and avoid the water. There we go. Not every single area in our city. Oh, there we go. It has to be built in. Mm, yes, I want some along here. Can I get it small enough to actually still get some trees on if I max that out? Yeah, I'll probably have to do some manual ones there like that. Yeah, not every part of the entire city has to be lived in. But any that aren't, it's nice to put some trees along. And it just sort of finishes that edge off nicely. We are going to expand this area here. So at the moment, we have the Mall of Moderation and Cedar Square. Now, talking about not having um, Demand Master on all the time. If we don't have Demand on something that I want to build, I will put Demand Master on. As I mentioned in the last series, just very briefly to reiterate what I said, the reason I'm using it is because I'm making videos for YouTube. If I have to sit around and wait for the demand to build up, then that is a royal pain in the backside. And that means, you know, you're more likely to have a day without a video and all sorts of things like that, which, you know, none of us want. I want a road to come in here. I'm actually going to curve this, which I think looks better going up a slope. Yeah, and then we're going to have the road sort of come up here. So I will use Demand Master if I need to, but it won't be something I'll keep on all the time. And it is good if you're using Demand Master to turn it off from time to time. Don't like that at all. Let's take that one out. Let's just go for a straight road up here. Um, because then you can, rather than this mod telling your city there's demand for everything at 100 percent it's like it's shouting turn the tap on full fill up the city but actually what your city really needs now uh, there we go now demand masters off we can see we're actually as it says here not enough workers so more workers is something we need which what we might do here is we might trim these areas back and have some more people down here instead yeah, we'll come to that. So we can sort of, you know, we've got to keep an eye on it ourselves. But it will work out fine. It will be okay. So what I don't want to do is I'm trying to avoid putting another road off of there. Hmm. Can I squeeze a road in along the back or up here? But as we've got in this city, I'm trying to sort of keep the grid layout sort of ish. You know, we've got lots of straight roads and things. That's what we're doing in this in this city aren't we let's actually bring that down here let's put that on yeah, 
that ain't going to stay, but we'll do it for now. I actually want a road along the back here to connect up to there. Yeah, so we're going to have to do that. Connect to that. Oh, darn it. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll remove that. We'll put this one on. We'll get that to go out, which will build up the land for us. There we go. We can then come along the back here and connect to there. Then we can delete that. There we go. Excellent. Giving us a little bit of weirdness there. We put that back and that back. We'll work on that in a second. And then I want this one to go up here. Just over a touch. Over a touch there. Can I anarchy that in? No. I think that's as close as we're going to get. And then that one go across there. Let's build that up. Ah, oh, I didn't press the button. Let's try that again. There we go. Then get rid of that. And then what we can do is we can move it mod. That, that, and that. Over to there. Yeah, there we go. So that sort of goes around there. Connects up to there. Excellent. And we can get rid of this weird little... Thing that we've ended up with here. If we go like that. So we'll take that height there. And just sort of remove that. And then we'll smooth that all out. Let's give that a bit of smoothing. That can have a bit of smoothing as well. All the way around there. How's that looking? Yeah. That's looking okay. This bit's a bit odd there. I don't know. We'll keep it like that. Not everything has to be perfect. And then I want a load of buildings in here. So let's put that back. So what I am going to do is fix that at 100%. And there we go. And we're going to have yeah, some tall... Because this is a shopping area. So we can have some tall shopping buildings... In fact, we're going to do this whole section. Let's do this whole section around the posh mall and also the large emergency shelter, which has nicely got an absolute ton of food, which is good. There we go. And we'll have that build up along here. Nice. Now, while that's building up, let us take a quick look. We went through, didn't we, all of our transport and adjusted all the different things to make sure that there was enough yeah enough vehicles for all the different lines there was one thing that i missed i think it was my, this ah was it tram line two one of these let's have a look at this one i had something like 600 people i saw the comments yeah lots of stuff are these mostly filled up lots of them are filled up so that's fine maybe it was this one there we go, 556. <laughs> yeah, so we need some more in here. We've got 12. Where's it gone? So they're all picking up from there. Yes, they are. Where is that one? So that's tram line three. So where are we? Oh, okay, it's heading up to there. Okay, but well that's fine. Um, let's have a look at that again. Let's add even more into that. Tram line three. There it is. That one there. We've got 12 vehicles on there. Yeah, there we go. Let's up that to 20. They can hold 90 each. Actually, that's probably far too many. 30, 40, 15. That'd be another 300. Yeah, let's do that. And over time, that will go down. And then we can readjust it later on as and when we want to. Yep, yeah, cool. Good. So how are we doing over here? Oh, no water. Well, you know, that's going to be a sticking point for some people. Let us run this pipe all the way down to the end. Nice and straight. I feel like that's got anarchy on. No, it hasn't. Okay, it felt a bit like it had anarchy on. Let's do that again. All the way back to here. There we go. It didn't feel like it was clipping in to this. Maybe it is. There we go. That's... Yeah, excellent. So we'll run that down there. And then we just need one more along here by the look of it. And that will... Oh, there we go. Look, let's line it up with that one. A little gap in the middle, I think. That's going to be okay. Is everybody happy? Yes, I believe you are. Just looking at this little gap here. I feel like we should have something in there. 
maybe that will be an area that gets treefied, you know, like we do. So let's do a similar thing over here. We've already got this crossroads. I mean, we could just fill in the outside and leave these bits in the middle. Or we could have a road coming up here. Let us have a road. Hmm. Up to there. Maybe a little bit over. Up to there. Yes. Just to sort of fill that section in a little bit more. And then we can do a similar thing here. Uh, anarchy, if you don't mind. And do that. Yes, that's fine. Let's put that back to normal so we don't forget. Excellent. That'll be good. And then we'll get some high-rise buildings in there once autosave is finished. One sip of tea later. Let us fill in this section. There we go. Actually, what is this here? Oh, is that the blimp? Hot air balloon tours, of course. Yeah, we need some more of those. We need some blimps around here as well. I don't think we have actually any blimps in our city. What is wrong with you? Oh, is there a metro station somewhere that needs rebuilding? It looks like there is. Oh, darn it. I've got I've got it set so I can see all the symbols as and what. Right, okay, let's have a look at this from any distance, I think. Let's see if we can find out where it is. Let's jump into here. Let's just turn off those. Uh, that's trams. We'll turn off those. We'll leave that. Is that the one? Yes, Metro. We'll leave those on. Turn those off. Turn those off. We don't need those on anyway. Yeah. So, Metro. Which one is it that's not working? Look, none of them. So, definitely something is broken somewhere. Found it. It's this one in the middle right down there. And all the lines go through that at some point. So, that had really messed up our entire metro let's get this one here so all of those should be okay they look all right we'll get that going again excellent well i'm glad we sorted that out good 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 so how are we doing down here there we go that's nicely filled that area in whoops forgot some water let's give these guys and girls some water we'll have that go straight across there there we go and then finally for that little bit of area there we've got prop and tree anarchy off so we'll go with this and we just sort of fill that in there we go look at that so any little gaps there there are we'll do this one as well suddenly they're all covered up with the trees excellent that is what we want to see let's see if we can get a few more along there there we go. Now, we do seem to have a bit of a traffic backup coming along this road along here. Nobody's coming that way. I'm just wondering whether... I might just leave it for now, see how it settles down. <coughs> Excuse me. It may be that we have to change traffic lights or something, and, of course, the metro, as that kicks back in again. We'll see. <laughs> this traffic down here will definitely decline. I'm just wondering whether we could put some blimps in, you know, because we don't have any anywhere. You're complaining about trash. Um, yeah, we are low on the garbage processing. So, let's see. We've got this guy up here. I'm going to put one of these up here as well. We've got that there. That's okay. What else have we got? This side has got plenty... And then we've got this one down here. I might just add another one in next to that. We'll double up on it, yeah, because we've got all this area down here. I bet what's happening is this garbage collection here, the incinerator, is covering all of this, and it isn't getting a chance to come up to here. And I'm wondering whether we could just add another one right at the end there. And hopefully that will cover the centre section as well. And keep on top of that a bit more. Yeah, they're complaining because the, <laughs> the road was flooded a mere 10 minutes ago. But no, it's looking okay now. So good. Right, where could we put some blimps to try and help out with the traffic as well? I mean, we've got... Let us take a look. Let us take a look. So, blimp depot. Do we have any blimp stuff at all? What's this one here? No, that's not a blimp depot, is it? No, we've got no blimp stuff at all in our city. 
definitely. So where are we going to put these? Well, I always think having... Oh, a blimp depot. Let's... That's reasonably noisy. That's not too bad, actually. Let us put the blimp depot. Buildings must be placed roadside. Yeah, there we go. Up here somewhere. I always think a depot, sort of a bit industrial, get people to work on the blimps and stuff. We'll put that over there. But then our blimp stops. So we want people to be able to get to some of the parks and also to get to some of the transportation. We've got this big train line and tram and all sorts of stuff going on in there. If we could extend... Whoa, what the heck is happening with this road here? What? That is freaky weird. People are still driving on it, okay. Uh, let's just see if adding a road to the end of that will sort of fix that. Yeah, something has gone very odd there. Well, I don't know what's going on there, but I had to delete the ferry and bus exchange stop and the multi-platform end station and redo them all again. But it's all working okay now, so we should be able to... As we were trying to, uh, let's turn off Anarchy and get this all back to normal. We add a little road coming out of there. We can add in a... What am I looking for here? Blimp stop next to that. There we go. So that can sort of jump on the trains there. Get on the ferries there to go all over the place, which is good. And then where else would be a good one? I mean, we've got all these parks that I'd like people to get into. So I'm wondering whether, let's see, I mean they are quite noisy the blimps, but people will come and use them. So we've got a metro there, there we go, so we can add one into here. Let's actually, no, let's leave that like it is. What we're going to do is we're going to move it mod that, but we're going to say follow the terrain. So if we go like that, oh I thought it wouldn't make the terrain move, if we turn that off. No, all right, we'll leave it like that. That's fine. Oh, and it's going all over the place. Let's go there. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We can always do, you know, that thing we like to do with the trees. Is bing, 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 bing. Fill that in with some trees. There we go. I feel like this needs a bit of trees around here in our entrance as well. Might as well go all the way down there. Yep, there we go. Excellent. So we've now got blimp here which is near to that park. We could try and squeeze a blimp stop into here, which might mean... Oh, we did have fences around here. The fences seem to have disappeared, although I don't think anybody can just walk in. There's the... Yeah, look, the fence has disappeared here. Well, I'll tell you what we can do is if we put a blimp stop here, like... Where should we go? Right in the corner, like that. Then what we can do, if we grab the amusement park fence, where does it end? There. We could bring that up to there. Then we can sort of go round the... There we go. And then connect up to this one. Oh, that's what it is. I put that in there. Look, and it's made it disappear. If we put anarchy on... Eek. That's going to mess this up. Okay, let's move that back. Oh, let's turn off snapping. Let's move that back a little bit. That should be okay. Where is it? There it is. Yep, yeah, that's fine. There we go. That's all closed off. But then what we can do as well, so these people don't have to walk all the way up. Bong, 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 bong. Where's the entrance? All the way up there to that entrance, or all the way around there to that entrance, we could then put a little side entrance in here. I don't like the way that that's looking a bit weird there. Can I... Let's just pause things a minute. Can I level all of this out? Let's bring that down. If we go that size... Ooh. I wish that would slope. I wish there was a way of placing that so it didn't go flat, that it actually went level with the roads. I mean, what we're going to have to do as well is we're going to have to... Do that, control H to there, that's it. So the road doesn't look too weird next to it. Maybe even the next one as well. If we go up just a bit. There we go, just trying to take away this little seam that we had there. And then it can slope away and that's fine. 
Yeah, that looks much better, doesn't it? And then it's okay to have like a craggedy rock section there. Yeah. So we can then put in another little park entrance here. So actually, if we delete that. Uh, this one here. Amusement park side gate. Not in park area. Seriously? This is a map. Oh yeah, there we go. Look. Park area doesn't come all the way across. Well, we can fix that. Go like this. There we go. That is now in the park area. Yeah, nice. So we can have that there. And then hopefully... Yeah, not quite as lined up as straight as we'd like. So we can fix that. Mm, I want to grab that corner. Let's try that again. Just the corner, if possible. Yeah, there we go. So we'll bring that down. Um, I don't think we can bring this one up because that's connected to that. So we'll just leave that there. That's fine. And then we just want to have a little path to connect through the rocks here. So I reckon if we bring our path... Let's unpause the game. You can start running again. Now, the path we're using here is the one with the rocks and the stuff on, but I'm going to use the tree one over here. Let's turn the anarchy off. Let's turn that off as well. We're going to just sort of follow our nose around here. Okay, let's take that out a bit wider. And we're going to bring that through there. There we go. Excellent. And then we're going to add just at the back here. Let's have a look. Amusement park souvenir shop. Must be inside park area, of course. Sounded like a building was falling down there. Did you hear that? I don't know quite what was going on. Let's do that. Something somewhere has fallen down. London Bridge? No, we haven't got London Bridge in the game. There we go. Let's do that. And then grab these again. So we'll have a souvenir shop. Just sort of nestled in there. And then also restrooms. Can we nestle those in here? Yeah, that'd be fine. Right there, like that. Nice. Okay, that's good. I feel like there should be one other shot we can add over this side. I don't want to add a ride. No, I think that's it. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. That'll be good. And now people can get into Chirpuland this way from the blimp. So let's just recap. Blimp up here which covers that sort of area. Blimp stop there. We've got the zoo down here. We definitely want a blimp stop around there. Let's put this on. So I'm reckoning by here, where all the tourists are coming in. If we can fit one in here somewhere. I don't want it up against that road necessarily. Tell you what, if we put a little road up here instead of a path, let's just pause that. Hmm. It's not going to be easy to do, is it? Oh, I can't connect. What about if we go that way? What about if we go like that? I don't think it's going to let me put one against there. Oh, it will. Oh, there we go. That's over. Are we lawyers? Are we accountants? Hmm. Did I leave anarchy on? Yes, I did. I don't want to accidentally overlap it on a road. Yeah, that's not going to work there, is it? I don't think we're going to be able to fit it in. Oh, actually, we'll have a road coming off of this side. There we go, look. Along here, like that. Will that connect up to that one? No. Let's just come across there, then. Say to there. And then there. Will it fit in that gap? Oh, no. Just no. Nope, it's not going to do it. That's, that's annoying. There's no other room here. Can't move that over. No. And there we go. We've managed to squeeze it in there. So I've put that path back up there again. This road had gone a bit weird. I think the Touch It mod, this one here, which lets you upgrade rows that are attached to things, has gone slightly odd. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I fixed that. Um, so we've got one there. So where else... So that will sort of give access to the zoo and all of that. We've got the zoo entrance down here, which is fine. Um, I don't want to start putting them right in the middle of the city. But I think that will probably do. And then we've got one over there. Yeah, let's go with that. 
Oh yeah, that's this garden here, isn't it? That park there. Yeah, let's go with that and see how that goes. So what have we got there? Airplane path? No, thank you. Blimp pathway. That is what we want. There's the airplane path. So if we go from... This is our blimp depot. And it's disappeared. Did I accidentally, cl accidentally click on something then? I think I might have done. Let's try that again. There it is. Yes. So let's go with this one. So we're going to curve that around. And then curve that around to there. And then this is going to go... I'm going to have it run down here. Uh, straight line. Thank you very much. That's it. And then we're going to have it go... It doesn't need to go in one side and out the other. So if we go like that like that and like that and then what I'm going to do is take those corners off curve the blimp pathway there we go and then that one's going to carry on down there looks like I found the buildings that collapsed there was a small fire so we've got this here I'm wondering whether we could have another blimp stop here somewhere um, which could give access to all of this area and the shopping area. That could work quite well. And that would also cover this sort of side of the city a little bit more as well. So where could we have that? So we want them to walk into here. Maybe in the middle here. Let's see how that looks. That's going to look a bit weird on the land, isn't it? Hmm... Not if we spread that out a bit. Let's spread it out a bit. We'll take that. Oh, let's go brush size a bit bigger. Brush strength a bit more. And we'll go from there. Yeah, just sort of spread that out a bit there. Spread that out a bit. Yeah, yep, that's fine. So then we'll go up to there. Let's get our blimp pathway. Turn that on. So where are we? Yep, we're on here. So if we go straight up here. And where are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to there. Go to there. There we go. And then we'll curve that in. A little bit too far. Yep, that's fine. And then coming out the other side, could actually connect to the depot again. Uh, we should go to there. Curve the blimp around. And that should. There we go. And that should happily circle all the way around. So then we can add our blimp stops in, our blimp line, and we'll have one go in each direction. We let's tend to do that. So let's follow it along, make sure we don't miss one. So that's going to go up there, and then it's going to come out again, it's going to go along here, stop at the zoo entrance, then it's going to come along here, stop at the train, the harbour, all the stuff that's in there, stop over here by our shopping area, there we go. And then go back up here. It doesn't need to stop at the blimp line, but it can go past it. And complete over there. Excellent. And then give this a second, and this will auto-name itself. Unlimited. Why is it named itself that? I don't know. But we are going to call that number one. Uh, that is actually counterclockwise. Yeah, so we'll go with that. And then we'll have one go in the other way as well. I'll create a new line. There we go, and number two kicked in, and this is going to be blimp clockwise. There we go, excellent. So let's take a look at the blimps. Yay, they're appearing. Let's follow. There we go, let's grab this blimp here. Let's follow this blimp across our city. There we go. I'm hoping these guys down here don't mind the noise, because the blimps do tend to fly a little bit low, but, you know, that's just the way it goes. They'll have to deal with it, won't they? What a great view out the window of the city, though.
there we go. That wraps up another episode. Hit the big B with a T stain to subscribe. Leave a comment below about what you've seen. Perhaps some changes you'd like to uh, implement in the city. I read all the comments. Don't worry. I always do. Maybe check out some of the other videos on the screen as well. And be back here tomorrow for the next episode of City Skyline. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.